and my first WFIB video since November of 2020, I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate beginner spammer. Let's get right into it. Hello and welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how to build the ultimate WFIB beginner spammer. Before we get started with actually building it though, let's talk about the materials and cost. For the cost, you're looking at $17,850. If you compress a bit extra, you could be looking at eighteen dollars or even $19,000. Compared to other spammers though, this design is actually pretty cost efficient and is a great value for the money. As for materials, you can definitely build this with steel armor, but you will have to compress a bit more to have the same amount of protection. Also, you need spice planks and the Mark I pilot seat for the best results. Additionally, you will need a friend to compress the cannons for you by shooting them out. Anyways, let's start building. We'll begin by placing down three spice planks in a long ways order, just like so. At the end of this row, we'll place two perpendicularly rotated planks so that we can compress off of them. After this, we'll go ahead and duplicate to the other side of our ship. Once you have this step completed, there should be nine spice planks on your ship. Now, you can either use an auto clicker or your mouse and compress 49 times for optimal floatiness and balance. Link in the description, by the way. Now, we'll compress 49 times for each spice plank. Once we're done with that, you should have 201 spice planks, and we can go ahead and start working on the front of our spammer. Place down three spice planks, as shown, for a total of four. Then, delete the ones below the top, and place a cannon upside down, as shown. Now, have your friend shoot out this cannon. Then, replace it. Repeat this process until you have eight cannons. Once you have all of your cannons shot out and ready to be repaired, we can place down our seat by simply putting down two spice planks and deleting the one below, giving us a space to put our seat. Once we do that, make sure to test that your ship is handling as expected. And now it's time to armor this puppy up. Begin by placing a piece of armor long ways against the spice plank. Then, put 5 square armor pieces on the front of your seat, and 4 on the back. We can complete this box of protection by adding 3 normal armor pieces on either side of our seat. Cap it off with another piece of armor, and we're ready to work on the cannons. Delete the top piece from earlier, and then place down the armor until it just covers the top of our cannons. Then, delete every other piece for more effective weight distribution and a nicer look. If you're not quite ready to repair all yet, then don't. Next, let's go ahead and place down some armor on the sides of our cannons. It should go on the lowest layer. Then, place a piece of armor on the inside and then delete the piece on the outside for a more seamless look. To protect the front of the cannons, we can place down a square piece of armor and then build backwards by half of its length as shown. Then, we can delete the original piece, put one into the middle, delete the other piece, and put down two armors on either side of the middle. Delete every other one for additional weight savings and styling points. Now, we can compress each of these pieces to ensure that they can take a lot of cannon fire. Place down a perpendicularly rotated piece of armor and compress off of that nine times, repeat for each square. Oh. 
Alrighty. So we're done with the cannon armoring. Feel free to compress the armor a bit more as you see fit, but through some trial and error, I have found that 10 times compression works pretty well all around. So let's go ahead and compress the rest of the ship. Place down small angled armor on the front of each vice plank. After that, place down a flat piece on the front of each plank. Then, we can place three layers of armor on the outside of each plank. Now, we can place some normal armor pieces on top of the spice planks to complete our protection. The ship is basically complete at this point, but we still have a little bit to add. Let's test it out using the speed glitch. Place down a metal cabinet, sit down, and delete the cabinet. At this point, your spammer should function as intended, it just has to have the cannons repaired. Make sure to teleport out. Now we can finish our armoring. Place a small, perpendicular piece of armor on the side of the armor on the front of our spice flanks. Use this to compress 9 or 10 times, and then delete the reference prop. And now, we are done. If your spammer isn't functioning properly, you might want to rewatch the tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye bye.